Okay, let's talk a little bit about Word and Logic Glue because you're going to be looking at those columns in the paragraph chart. Okay, the first thing um, Word Glue involves the actual words that we write between two sentences that help us understand why one sentence should follow another sentence. So sometimes we might repeat the exact words that are in a previous sentence. We might use synonyms. We often will use pronouns to refer to an antecedent. Um, and we might use traditional expressions like for example. Now in CEA you'll want to turn to this page in your CEA so this looks like it's about 372 or I can't you know, 106 yeah, there it is. 106 that's where I'm getting this information you want to review word glue here and then the logic which we'll talk about in just a second so when we increase the number of words we increase the word glue it makes it clear what the logic between two sentences is so for instance in Mr. Prophet's class we ate pizza and then the next sentence might be in Dr. Deegan's class we revised our essays now right now we might say that we have some glue the only glue that really links these two sentences is the word class and so we're not sure what the logic is while we've written uh, these two sentences or what's the move in from this sentence into the second sentence so we need to add some more glue that would help make the logic clear so we could add in Mr. Prophet's class we ate pizza while revising our thesis statements okay. in Dr. Deegan's class we might put however we revised our essays longing for the taste of mozzarella okay so what has happened here is we've increased the word glue here and this is going to make the logic a little bit clear why we wrote the second sentence so we have revised thesis okay that's connecting there mozzarella pizza glues um, that together so what we have is that the logic of the two sentences is now a little bit more apparent so if you look at these are the seven logical reasons we don't usually write these words in between the sentences but they represent the logic they're implicit and the relationship between these two sentences is marked by but yet so we didn't write but yet in between these two sentences but this is the implication a change in the idea of a previous sentence okay so on your chart you're going to under the logic loop column you're going to pick one of those seven seven words to put in in your column okay let's take a look at a sample chart 
Okay, there are a couple samples in the Dropbox for you about what this is going to look like in the chart. Now, we've got, this is also a, the sample in CEA, we've looked at it, it's organizing by place. And so we have from, in this box, okay, you're telling me what are the words, at least a, this only was just one pairing, but you've got the idea of safeguard here, and as we get to the next sentence, we have um, the verb guards, which is a synonym. So that's one, just one example immediately that is gluing those two sentences together. Then when you move to this box, okay, I listed a couple pairings. So this is between these two sentences. That's what, that's what you're going to put there. So obviously you've got Joe um, and he, so we, there's an example of a pronoun, and then we have shield, which is a synonym for guards, so we've got a synonym there. Now that's what the, the UE chart can't pick up, are synonyms. It can pick up exact word repetitions like Joe, Joe, but it won't pick up synonyms, so you'll want to go back and add them. And so we're saying that there were, the logical reason we're, we wrote sentence number three is we're continuing the same idea with new facts. So remember, we're choosing one of these, these seven words to place in this, in this chart, in this column, okay? And just a reminder, make sure that you take a look at this column. Right, so when I look at the topic strings, I've got these words. I should see some of those key words in the topic string. The first couple of words in each sentence. So just looking down this column, I can say I have words that are linking back up to the topic string. Now, if you look down this column and you see, wow, I don't have any language that connects to the main ideas in the topic sentence, these are the main associations, you need to go ahead and revise your topic string so you can, so you can be able to do what I just did. Okay, bye-bye. We'll go off with a little of Rachmaninoff here.